The economy and the country have been through a lot over the past two and a half years and have proved resilient. It is essential that we bring inflation down. The current picture is plain to see. The labor market is extremely tight and inflation is much too high. Those reasons listed there by a chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, are the cause for today's move by the Fed to raise interest rates. This is the second time in the last few years that the Fed has raised rates. It is an effort to tamp down inflation, but the concern is, will it push the economy into a recession? Fox 13's David Rose joins us now from the newsroom with more on what this means for everyday Americans. David, how much did interest rates move today? Well, Hannah, the Federal Reserve raised interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point. That is the largest increase in rates since 1994. It's also a sign that the Fed is aggressively trying to rein in record inflation, running at a 40-year high. Today's increase is making it more expensive to borrow money for anything from car loans to mortgages. The hope is that it will encourage people to spend less and bring inflation down as a result. Here's the tough part, though. This move could also slow the economy's growth. It's been a bloodbath in the financial markets leading up to today's jumbo rate hike, but the news sent stocks and bonds up on all of the major indexes today. However, many are still criticizing the Fed for moving too slowly. We're strongly committed to returning inflation to our 2% objective. Against the backdrop of the rapidly evolving economic environment. Economists are very bad at predicting recessions, but I think the Fed has a, a decent chance, a reasonable chance, of achieving a what uh, Jay Powell calls a softish landing. I do think probably the Federal Reserve was a little late in starting to raise interest rates, probably overly focused on maximum employment and losing sight of the, the inflationary concerns out there. A big challenge for many everyday Americans, wages are not keeping up with climbing inflation. The Fed could raise rates again when they meet in July. These higher interest rates are affecting lots of different industries, like we said, including the housing market. Coming up, we'll be digging into what the market is like here in our area. That report on Fox 13 News at 5. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm David Rose. Hannah, back to you.